Hi, everyone, and long live Blood Bowl! Yes, that's right, Jim. Another exciting encounter is about to get underway. Should be a classic, Bob. I spoke to the ref earlier on, and he says they've been looking to keep a low profile. They're really... No contest! The supporters don't seem too worried. In fact, they're looking forward to the... Must be broken. Uh, probably nose, few teeth, an arm. You know, regular stuff. Ouch! Right in the face. The other guy couldn't dodge that one. Down and quite stunned, apparently. Oh, a few slaps in the face, and anybody can wake up instantly. Ouch! Oh, he's got them senseless. You're assuming then that he had something between his ears to begin with. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. Good hand skills. The ball is caught. You can't say much about that. Full blooded but perfectly legal. The blood will never clot if he keeps running around like that. That's poetry in motion. What we'd like to see... More often! What? <laughs> right on the spot! He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on! Instant stuff! What a sissy! That one can't hold the ground! Incoming! Well, it is a violent spot! so widespread that the Referees Guild has set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. Blood Bowl players are getting more like their Albion League cousins every day. That wasn't a white cut, that was a shot. That was a solid shot to the back of the net. That looks like a death to me, Bob. Well, he really took one to the head. They're not far from the line now. Smells like a touchdown! <laughs> it's amazing! He's running around with a only a minute ago, he was on death's door. Yes! Medicine has made amazing progress. Another step on the way to victory. Yes, that touchdown should seal it for them. The ball is in his hands. Oh, has this player got two left hands or what? Apparently, they tried to catch the ball and stand on it at the same... He didn't react fast enough, man. <laughs> It's a great spectacle, Bob. Well, that's one with a good reason to go see the apothecary. Yep, looks like he's gonna need a good one. Oh, no, another one who actually plays the ball. The referee's guilt has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against a stadium full of supporters? True. Could be a bit one-sided. Oh, nice move. Perfect pass. This pair was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. 
Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. Mm, what violence! Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob. Nice left punch, right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> what an idiot! This one can say goodbye to the mass bowlers now. It's a catch. Now this player just needs to survive. Looks like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. Yes, they're gonna score. Hold <laughs> back, Jim. I feel like going down there and joining in. Hearts down. This is kind of monotonous. I think next time I'll stay in Bretonia. What's better for touchdown? Touchdown? Yes, that makes a real difference, doesn't it, Bob? position and we're off. Good hand skills. The ball is caught. Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Why are you playing at the time in an Albion League? A second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh yes. They were great times. I remember fans trying the game just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving blood monster. The noise created by a sister fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of a snap of Wizards making. When he comes round, he'll be seen double. If he comes round. That reminds me of when I took... Clean take up there. Nothing to say. And I don't have any remarks to add, my friend. That player is taken away on a stretcher. But still alive, I can see the drool. Wow! I didn't see that one. Hey, I know to the player or he would have ducked. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. She should have checked that her hands were working before trying to pick up that ball. That player seems stars now. Funny for someone that wasn't really that bright. <laughs> has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. You can't say much about that. It's a blow. It's a blow. no doubt, but they keep scoring. They're hell-bent on making them suffer. They should leave that to the fans. The 
Ball's in play. It's a catch! Now this player just needs to survive. Quagmire incident when rampant spell casting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth. Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. This one is going to get the hand slapped at the end of the match. Better a smack on the hand than a punch in the face. out there today. Yep, and it's gonna take some time to recover from a defeat like that. My gut reaction would be that without the ball, it's impossible to win a match. Give me some notice if your gut reaction goes any further. You're right, though. A possession is key to victory. Well, at least there's one who can look himself in the mirror after the match. Yeah, he was the best player on the pitch. Well, if you got points for staying in your own half of the field, they'd have won hands down. What? Not one player don't? Let me express just a teensy-weensy bit of surprise. Well, if it's true, it will definitely go down in the annals. I don't think I've ever seen so many players sent off in one match. Oh. 